Hi there. Okay. Um, normally, I would do this big, long, boring spiel, and I'm like, well, you know, the campaign information has everything you need to know about what I'm offering as a thank you for helping out with this. Um, so I thought instead, because uh, you're here because you're curious about the project, and a lot of people ask me about the art, so I thought instead of giving you this boring blah, 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 I would show you the art. So uh, this, if I can get the camera to focus, this is one of the pages from, uh, I think this is chapter one. Yeah, this is chapter one. And uh, when I'm doing Heavenly Bride, I do it in like a several step process. I will actually either use Daz 3D because it's free <laughs> and I don't have any money. Um, Daz 3D to pose uh, people into, into position so that I can get an idea of how things look so I can draw it uh, well, or I will look up photographs. Uh, normally I use Des 3D. It's very time consuming, but worth it. And uh, I'll figure out how the layout goes and I'll do a thumbnail and then I will draw pencil art like this. And uh, you can see I've got a lot of detail on this particular page. Not every page is as detailed, but this one I'm kind of proud of. So I thought I'd, you know, and after I finish the line art and it's the way I want it, then I will scan it in the computer and I will print it out again on another piece of manga paper. And I'm, I'm very specific with what kind of manga paper I buy because although you can buy like cardstock at Walmart or whatever, the art doesn't hold well. I mean, like after I print it out, I ink it using a uh, Faber-Castell pens and sometimes Prismacolors, but the Faber-Castells are so much better. And so that I get this, but without the color. And I don't know if you can see it, but the reason why I'm very peculiar about using this piece kind of paper, you can see the blue lines that let me know so I can get my boxes straight and everything because I'm terrible at straight lines, is because like cheap paper at Walmart, those beautiful lines would smear and it just, it just doesn't look as good. Um, doesn't look a streamline. And uh, then if the scene warrants color, not every scene warrants color, color has a meaning in this story, then I will actually cut out spots and you can see where I, I drew it with, with thicker lines so I knew where I was cutting and I'll put origami paper in the back. And it just depends on uh, as far as the origami paper cut, uh, is, it depends on, on what I'm going to put there. I mean, this one I even I even cut out a little, little bit of flowers because he needed a lot of color for that scene. I mean, the world was just exploding alive for him, and he really, really needed, you know, color. Um, the final page of this story, the very final, the end page, is going to take me hours of cutting. <laughs> Guess what I've got in my head? May not come out what I'm getting because art never does ever go completely out what's in your head. Um, it's going to be pretty colorful, but, uh, and, and that's, that's a page for Heavenly Bride. It takes me all day to do one page. Um, so unfortunately this, this is a project I'm not able to do full time because I don't exactly make a living off of it. If I ever make a living off of it, I'll be drawing Heavenly Bride full time and it'll be getting produced a lot faster, but that's not happening right now. But that's a page for Heavenly Bride and that, that's, uh why when it comes to this uh OL manga um sojo ready comey adult thing um i do consider it a comic of course i do because i'm telling a story and i'm i'm definitely doing a graphic novel but i'm also considering it a work of art every time i do a page i want it to i don't know i want to be able to frame it put it on my wall of course not every page is going to be frameable <laughs> Some pages I just can't go that fancy, you know, the, the story doesn't call for it or what have you. Um, but I try, I, I, I try very hard and I want this to be a visual feast as well as a good story. I have worked really hard on the opening. Uh, this book was actually out a couple years ago and it flopped and the opening was just horrible. And I have spent the past six months redoing the opening and now I'm starting to get five star reviews on Amazon and people are like coming to the site and so I know I've got a good thing here so if you like romance because it is a romance and do not object to adult material because it does have some not a lot graphic violence it's not meant to be a graphic story but once in a while the story warrants a scene 
for the fact for the for the whole point of the whole story. I believe in having stuff for a plot device, not for gratuity. You know, the same things with, with goes with the adult scenes that I do. They are in there and uh, but this isn't a porn, but they are there. It's just they're important for certain character developments that I don't want to go into here because you'd have to read the story. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, do please ask, and I will be happy to add a fact to this campaign. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy my tale and enjoy the artwork.